Hi, second and third graders. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here and I'm looking forward to doing some more math with you. The last time we were together, we were reading from Alexander, who used to be rich last Sunday, and we were thinking to ourselves, Alexander has lost or spent a lot of money. How much of that dollar that his grandma and grandpa gave him does he have left? Does he have any money left? I'm not sure. So when we saw each other last, we wrote down the amounts that he had lost or spent. And I asked you to take some time to figure out how much money does Alexander have left? So what I wanna do now is show you how I decided to solve that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I decided to solve this problem, thinking about all the different amounts that Alexander spent or lost, and then wondering how much money does he have left out of the original dollar that his grandma and grandpa gave him. So how much money does he have left? So what I decided to do is I'm gonna add up all of these amounts and get a total and then subtract that total from a dollar to see how much he has left. And I thought the way that I think I'm gonna do this is using a number line. So here's my number line and I'm gonna think about each amount and add it up across my number line and figure out how much has he spent. So I'm just gonna go straight down the list. I used I'm gonna start with 15. So you, when you're doing a number line, you can start at zero or you can start with your first number. I'm gonna start with my first number, 15. So I've already done this one. Now I need to add another 15 cents. I'm gonna break that 15 cents into a 10 and a five. 15 plus 10, 15 plus 10 is 25, and then 25 plus five, is 30. All right, so now I have that second one done. Now I'm going to add on 12 cents. I'm gonna break that 12 cents into a 10 and a two. 30 plus 10 is 40. 40 plus two is 42. Okay, next one is 10 cents. That's easy, I'm just gonna make a hop of 10. 42 plus 10 is, that's right, 52 cents. He's already spent a little over half of his dollar. Okay, next number is eight. So I'm going to make a jump of, actually I'm gonna break that eight into a five, and then a three. 52 plus five is 57. 57, 58, 59, 60. 60. Now I'm gonna add 11 cents. Plus 10 is 70, plus one is 71. Okay, now I'm gonna add the four cents. One, two, three, four. 71 plus four is 75 cents. Next number is five. 75 plus five is 80 cents. And then the final number, 20 cents. I'm gonna break that into two tens, plus 10, plus 10, oh, I'm running out of room. 80, 90, 100. Uh-oh, how much has Alex Alexander spent? That's right, he spent 100 cents, which we can also call one dollar. Does he have any money left? No, he doesn't. He has zero money left. Okay, we're gonna play our game Dimes and Nickels again. When we were playing, we were using um, one cent, five cents, or a dime, but today we're going to make it um, a little bit different and we're going to also play with quarters. How much is a quarter worth? 25 cents and a dime is worth 10, a nickel is worth five, and a penny is worth one. So let's remember how we play. You need a dice to play this game or you need a bowl with your numbers in it. Either one works. And then you need a piece of paper to keep score. I thought today I would play against you. Are you up for it? Okay, good.
So because we're adding quarters to it, we need to go up to a bigger number. Today we're gonna play to $5. But that's a choice you can make when you play. Maybe you wanna play for even higher. Maybe you wanna play to $10. Or maybe you wanna add on the number of turns that you have to get to $10. Whatever you choose to do. Today though, we're gonna to play to $5 and we're gonna use all four coins, penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. So I'm going to roll first and I got a two. I think I'm gonna start off with quarters. That would be 25 plus 25. Can you take a moment and think about that in your head? What is 25 plus 25? Or maybe you know how to count by 25s. 25 plus 25 is 50. So I'm going to write 50 cents. Now it's your turn. Four. What would you like to do? Do you want to do four quarters? Four dimes? Four nickels or four pennies? I'm hearing a lot of you say you want to do quarters. Okay, let's count by 25 to see how much four quarters is worth. 25, 50, 75, 100. So you have 100 right off the bat, or you can call that a dollar. My turn. Five. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with dimes and do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's see, that would give me 50 plus 50, which is a dollar. That would give me the same amount that you have. Uh, yep, I'm going to stick with dimes. I'm going to say 50 cents. 50 plus 50 is 100, or we can call that $1. Okay, your turn. Six. What do you want to do with that? Do you want it to be quarters, dimes, nickels, or pennies? Hmm, I'm hearing a lot of you think that quarters is too big, so you want to do dimes instead. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, 60 cents. 100 or $1 plus 60 cents is $1.60. Okay, three. Mm, I think I'm gonna use quarters for this. 25, 50, 75. $1 plus 75 cents is $1.75. Oh, you got a three, two. What are you gonna do? You're gonna do 75 cents as well? Okay, so three quarters, 25, 50, 75. Hmm, how can we add this up? Well, we can look at the ones and see that five plus zero ones is five. And then we can think to ourselves, 70 plus 60 is 130. So we could put the 30 here, but we're gonna have to put the 100 up here in the 100's place. 100 plus 100 is 200, or $2, $2.35. Two dollars and 35 cents. I got a two. I'm gonna stick with quarters. 25 plus 25 is 50. I'm gonna add my ones, five ones plus zero ones is five. I'm gonna add my tens, 70 plus 50 is 120. So I could put my tens here, but now I have a hundred, so I'm gonna add my 100 up here. How many hundreds do I need to add? 100 plus 100 is 200. I now have $2.25. Oh, you guys got a five. What do you wanna do? Do you want to do dimes? Quarters, nickels, pennies. I think I hear most of you are saying that you want to do quarters. So let's count that. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. Okay. Or 125 is also the same thing as $1.25. Mm, now we have some adding we need to do. 5 plus 5 is 10. So that means there's no, we don't have any ones anymore and we're gonna move that 10 over to, with the rest of the tens. Now we have one ten, three tens, and two tens. How many tens is that? 
Yeah, six tens are the same thing as 60. And then how many hundreds or dollars do we have? Two, three. You guys have $3.60. You have a lot more money than I do. I only have $2.25 and you have $3.60. We're trying to get to $5. I think I need to catch up. Five. Mm. I'm going to use quarters because I want to catch up. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. Or the other way to say that is $1.25. Hmm. Now I know that 25 plus 25 is 50. So I'm going to write 50 here. And then I know $2 plus $1 is $3. So I have $3.50 now. Still less than you guys. Three. What do you want to do? Dimes? Quarters, nickels, pennies. Sounds like a lot of you are saying that you still want to stick with quarters. 25, 50, 75. So if we add 75 cents, let's add the ones. Five ones plus zero ones is five. Six tens plus seven tens is 130. So I'm going to put the tens, the 30, right here. But then I need to put my hundred over here with the other hundreds. 100 plus 300 is 400. So now we have 435 or $4.35. Wow, I still haven't caught up to you. You're really close to $5 though. In fact, you're almost to $5. You might want to slow down a little bit and I need to speed up. Six. Let's see, if I did quarters, how much would that be? 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. 350, $3.50 plus $1.50. That would be $5. Oh, I can't do that. That would get me there too fast. So I better do dimes. I'm gonna do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 50 plus 60 is 110. So I can put the 10 here, but then I need to put the 100 over here with my other 100. 100 plus 300 is 400. Okay, I'm at $4.10. How much more do I need to get to $5? That's right, I only need 90 more cents. Two. What do you want to do? Do you want to do quarters? That would be 50 cents. 25 plus 25 is 50. Do you want to do dimes? 10, 20? Or nickels? That would just be 10 cents. Of course, you could also do pennies. That would only be 2 cents. You're thinking dimes, and that's going to give you how much? 10, 20 cents. Okay. 5. Ones, how many tens? 30 plus 20 is 50. Four dollars and 55 cents. Okay. Oh, I got a five. I'm going to stop and think about this for a little bit. If I use quarters, that would be 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. Oh, that's way too much. That would put me over five dollars. What if I did dimes. That would be five dimes or five tens is 50 cents. If I added 50 cents, that would give me four dollars and 60 cents. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 50 cents. 10 plus 50 is 60 and then four dollars. So we have four dollars and 60 cents. That's my final amount. Mm, I was hoping to get closer to five than I did, but maybe I don't know. Actually, I think I've lost this game. I think you guys have won. One. Hmm. Do you want to do one quarter, one dime, one nickel, or one penny? Oh, everyone's saying quarter. I can hear you. Okay. One quarter. 25 cents. So what's 55 plus 25? Well, we can add the two fives together. That makes a 10. Put the 10 with the other 10s. Five 10s, six 10s, seven, eight 10s. And then we have $4. Your final amount is $4.80. Who got closer to $5? You did. 
How much more do you need? Now let's figure out our score. Remember, we figure out our score by how far away are you from the total amount. So if you have $4.80, how much more money do you need to get to $5? Maybe some of you are thinking, I'll count by tens, 480, 490, 500. So that's only two tens. That's a score of 20 cents. I'm gonna count by tens from 460. 460, 470, 480, 490, 500. I got four tens. That's the same thing as 40. You guys beat me by a lot. Your score is 20 and my score is 40. Nice work. So if you wanna play this game with a little bit of an extra challenge, you can play to $5 or even higher and you can also use quarters. Well, today we're gonna to finish our book, Alexander Who Used to Be Rich Last Sunday. Let's remember what's happened so far. At the beginning of the book, Alexander's grandparents came to visit and they gave Alexander a dollar. He was pretty excited to have that money. And he thought about possibly saving it to get a walkie talkie. Do any of you have a toy that you really wish you had? Maybe some of you are saving your money to buy that, that special toy. For Alexander, it was a walkie-talkie that he wanted so badly. But then he ended up spending his money. He bought some gum. He made some bets that didn't work out. He rented a snake. I don't know about that choice. I'm not sure I would do that. He lost some of it. He got in trouble. And then he also, like, it went down into the floorboards. And then his brother lost some in a magic trick. And then finally, the last thing he did was he went to a yard sale that his neighbor was having. I'm going to pick up with this last page, and then we're going to read the rest of the book to find out what happens. Last Sunday, when I used to be rich, Kathy around the corner had a garage sale. I positively only went to look. I looked at a half-melted candle. I needed that candle. I looked at a bear with one eye. I needed that bear. I looked at a deck of cards that was perfect, except for no seven of clubs and no two of diamonds. I didn't need that seven or that two. Goodbye, 20 cents. I absolutely was saving the rest of my money. I positively was saving the rest of my money. I absolutely, positively was saving the rest of my money, except I needed to get some money to save. Just like we figured out, Alexander has already spent or lost all of his money. Looks like he has an idea here. He's writing a sign that says toys for rent. He's trying to think of ways that he can earn some money. I tried to make a tooth fall out. I could put it under my pillow and get a quarter, but I have no loose teeth. Looks like my mom doesn't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you see her over here? I looked in Pearson's telephone booths for nickels and dimes that people sometimes forget. No one forgot. Before cell phones, people used to use telephone booths and sometimes they would leave their coins behind. I brought some non-returnable bottles down to Friendly's Market. Friendly's Market wasn't very friendly. So here he is trying to recycle some bottles and get some money for it, but it didn't work out. I told my grandma and grandpa to come back soon. Last Sunday when I used to be rich, I used to have a dollar. I do not have a dollar anymore. I've got this dopey deck of cards, I've got this one-eyed bear, and I've got this melted candle. Boy, Alexander looks really disappointed with himself, doesn't he? And he has some bus tokens. Oh, well, Alexander ended up spending all of his dollar and now he needs to figure out some ways to earn some money so he can start saving for the walkie-talkie. I hope that he will be able to do that. Let's stand up now and do a movement break. Okay, are you ready to move? We have been thinking about quarters today, so I thought we could count by 25 while we ran in place. 
Can we count to 25 all the way to 500? Just like our game, all the way to $5. Okay, so if we count by 25, the first number is gonna be 25. What's the second number gonna be? That's right, 50. And the third number is gonna be 75 and then 100. So let's run in place and count all the way to 500. Ready, go. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250, 275, 300, 325, 350, 375, 400, 425, 450, 475, 500. Wow, we got to 500 really fast counting by 25s. You can use that um, counting by 25s to help yourself when you're counting up coins and quarters. Okay, now that we've been doing some running and some moving, we're ready to do a little more learning. I'm going to do a quick image with you guys, just like we've done in the last two videos. This time though, I'm gonna add in those quarters we've been talking about. So let's get ready. Okay, just like in the other videos, we're going to do a quick image where I'm gonna give you three seconds to see some coins. You're gonna to think to yourself, how many coins do I see and how much are they worth? Well, and I guess you also need to be thinking about what kind of coins are they that you see? Are you ready for your first look? Okay, here we go. Eyes ready, brains ready, ready, set, go. Okay, that was your first look. Think about what you saw. Think to yourself, what kind of coin was that? How many of them were there? And how much is that worth? Okay, you want a second look? Here it is. Ready, set, go. Okay, ready for your final look? Here it is. We see four coins, and what coins are they? Quarters, that's right, four quarters. And we just got done counting by 25s, so we can think to ourselves, I know how much this is worth because I know how to count by 25. Let's do it together. 25, 50, 75, 100. 100, or we can also call that $1. So we have four quarters here, and it is worth 100 cents, or $1. Ready for the next one? Okay, here is your next quick image. Get your eyes ready, get your brains ready. You have three seconds. Ready, set, go. Think about what you just saw. Think about what kind of coins those were. If you need to use a piece of paper to jot some notes down or to draw a picture, you can. Want a second look? Okay, here it is. Ready, set, go. One last thought. How much is that worth? Ready for your final look? Here it is. Okay, what do we see here? Well, we see the four quarters that we saw last time, but then now we see another four coins. Are these quarters? No, they're not. What are these? That's right, they're dimes. And we know that dimes are worth 10 cents. So we can say four tens here, and four tens is the same as 40. How much was the four quarters worth, though? That's right, you're remembering it's worth $1 or 100 cents. 25, 50, 75, 100. And now I'm wondering how much is this all together? And you're thinking to yourself, well, this is 100 or $1, and this is 40, so we have 140 or $1.40. All right, well done. I think you're ready for a new one. Okay, ready for our last one? Get your brain ready, get your eyes ready. I'll give you three seconds to look. Ready, set, go. Think to yourself about what you just saw. What kind of coins was it? How many were there? Would you like a second look? Yeah? Okay, here it is. Ready, set, go. If you need to, jot it down on a piece of paper to help you remember what you just saw. 
maybe help you figure out how much it's worth. Are you ready for your final look? Here it is. What do we see now? Well, we see our four quarters that we already had, and here's the four dimes, but we've added it on, haven't we? What do we see here? Are these quarters or are, what are these? These are nickels, you're right. Remember we talked about how quarters and nickels kind of look alike? We remember though that quarters are a little bit bigger and quarters have an eagle on the back and nickels have a building. So these are nickels. How much are nickels worth? Five cents. So we have four quarters and they're worth 25 cents each. We have four dimes and they're worth 10 cents each. And then we have four nickels and they're worth five cents each. And you're thinking to yourself, well, I already know this one is 100. I already know that this one is 40. How much is this one? Well, we could count them, 5, 10, 15, 20. Or we could think to ourselves, I know that 5 cents times 4 is 20 cents. Now, the last thing I need to know is how much is it all together? So you're thinking to yourself, we have 100, we have 40, and we have 20. How much is that all together? That's right, 160 cents. So $1.60. Well done. I had so much fun doing math with you this week, and I'm just so sad that our time is over. And Happy and Charlie, they wanted to say goodbye too. Say goodbye. They had fun too. They learned a lot about coins with you guys. So thanks so much for joining me. And I know that you guys are wishing and wishing and wishing we could go back to school because you miss your friends and you miss your teachers. And we miss you. We really wish we could be back at school too. I hope that you are doing what you need to be doing at your and taking care of yourself and washing your hands. And I hope that you're also getting a chance to be outside and play as well. And we look forward to seeing you back at your school. Bye-bye.